Hi guys, how are things? Just a very quick video here. It's another message that came in on Facebook. Uh, a guy was asking us what we would recommend as a deer hunting knife, uh, possibly for punching a rabbit or breasting a pigeon out as well. Uh, he doesn't want to spend an awful lot of money, but he wants a quality knife as well. So, obviously, what we have here is the Mora Garburg. Okay, this is a great knife. It it is good. It's really really good um, as a hunting knife because it is stainless steel I feel if you're having a dedicated knife you need a stainless steel knife and um, the problem with this is it's a little bit expensive okay so it could be out of some people's reach it's it's around 100 euro maybe 110 euro mark okay but it is a very good knife full tang as well so a cheaper option and the two that I recommended on the Facebook page, I don't have a Mora Cansbull, okay, but this is the Mora 2000. And the Cansbull is pretty much based around it. I have this knife about 15 years, and I have used it an awful lot as a falconry knife, okay. Um, it's very comfortable in the hand. It's stainless steel. It's sharp. It's the right length blade. You know, you don't really want more than four inches in a blade for a deer hunting knife, for rabbiting, or for, you know, breasting out a pigeon. The only thing that this is missing, I use this as falcon, exclusively as a falconry knife, but the only thing that this is missing in terms of um, a deer hunting knife is I'd like to have a lanyard hole in it. Now you could put that in. Now with the Mora Cansbull, uh, you have everything that you have here, but you also have a 90 degree spine so you can use it for striking a fire rod and you have this lanyard hole. Now I would put a high visibility paracord in this lanyard hole. So should you drop your knife into the belly when you're opening a deer, you're going to find it. You don't have to look for your knife with your hand. Also, if you happen to drop it in the grass, uh, that's kind of grassy colour there. Now, if the blade fell down, you'd have difficulty finding it, okay? If you had a high vis, preferably a high vis that's not orange and obviously not red for the purpose of finding it within a deer. Okay, guys, this is a great knife. Um, and I suppose you're going to be home and hose with the likes of this or the Cansville for about 35 euros. So I hope this helps out. And remember, fail to prepare, prepare to fail.